Today we are going to the store and buying the most expensive sea creature we can possibly find at the store. The coolest one, the most expensive one, and the biggest one. We're gonna jump right into it and let's get the coolest fish for one of my saltwater ponds. Now speaking of saltwater ponds, I'm not gonna tell you exactly which one it's gonna go in yet. So we have a couple different options that you guys can think of. Obviously we have the outdoor saltwater pond, the fan favorite, the one that everyone loves on YouTube and on TikTok. If you guys haven't followed us, go follow us there. That one is a fantastic outdoor outdoor little mini pond. We also have our other brand new mini pond inside the garage with our new little baby moray eel and a nice huma huma trigger. We also have our shark pond that's been doing amazing that we recently just added to. We added our brand new shark to that pond. We have three awesome sharks in there and a couple really, really cool fish. We also have our emperor snapper pond with our eels, our clown grouper, and of course the big boy emperor snapper who is a beast. So we definitely have some options for the pond. But as you guys can notice, I'm walking in the middle of the garage and can you guys hear that sound? Just, I'm not gonna show you guys what it looks like or tell you guys anything about it. So you guys are gonna have to wait for Barb's Buzzin'. Go subscribe to the Barb's Buzzin' YouTube channel because that's where the new pond build is officially up and running. Stay tuned, that video is coming out soon on the main channel. You are not gonna wanna miss it, it is amazing. So let's jump right into the car, let's go get our fish and I'm gonna show you guys what it is. So we are on our way to pick up the most expensive fish from the fish store. This guy is an absolute brute, he's a beast. I cannot wait to get him acclimated and ready to go in the pond. It's gonna be an awesome, awesome new addition to the pond that we haven't gotten in a long, long time. There's a couple stops I need to make. I need to get a lot of shrimp and tilapia and I gotta of course pick up our fish. Tons to get done. I'm super pumped. This is gonna be a great video, a great day. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. First stop is I need to get a lot of shrimp and tilapia. So let's grab that, head over to the fish store, see what they got. Hopefully they still have the fish that I'm, uh, that I'm targeting. It could, it could be sold. So we're gonna pray that they still have the fish, pick it up, bring it back to the house and you guys are gonna absolutely love this guy. He's definitely gonna need an awesome name down in the comments. So be prepared to drop him in the comments once you see so let's do it. All right, shrimp and two bags of tilapia secured. Now that we got our fish food and we can make sure everyone's well fed, we can go now and pick up our fish and cross our fingers that it's still there. So I'm headed right to the store. We're gonna go check it out, see if it's there. And if it is, we are buying it. And it's gonna, it's gonna hurt the wallet, but I'm doing it for you guys because you guys wanna see the coolest fish possible. And that's what we're gonna do. We got the big boy. You guys are gonna see what he is very soon. Whoa, that's a big box for a big fish. Let's go. All right, we got him, we picked him up. Thankfully they still had him. He was definitely the most expensive fish in the store and I am excited to put him in the tanks and see how he looks. So let's hurry back home. I wanna get this guy drip acclimating as soon as possible. I'm fired up. You guys are gonna love him. Get ready for the names. We're gonna need a sick name. This guy's gonna be a staple and I'm excited. So let's get back to the house. We got our big box, look at that box. That is not a small box guys, that is a big box. So we gotta first decide on the way home, I'm gonna be thinking about where I should put him. He has a couple pond options that where he can go inside of so we just gotta, we gotta figure out where he should actually go. So, all right, I'm grabbing the fish out of the car, guys. I'm making sure you guys cannot see the other side of the garage because of our brand new pond, which is absolutely mind blowing. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. It was an absolute crazy experience getting it actually set up and inside the garage. You guys are not, it's just, it was mind blowing actually setting this thing up. So let's get our fish out, our big box here. <sighs> because this is a big fish and I wanna get him in the pond as quick as possible, but as safe as possible. So here we go, here's our fish coming in. And now we just gotta decide where we're gonna put him. Should I put him in the shark pond or the emperor snapper pond? Those are the two options. We've narrowed it down at least. Here's our fish, let's go. And we have our bowl of food here because I'm gonna feed both of these ponds just in case we put them in one or the other and especially going to feed the big boy some tilapia because he doesn't get full off shrimp very much and he is one hungry fish. So we're gonna throw it right here. See how fast he gets it. Bang, crushed it, crushed it. So that's a big piece of tilapia. It's about half a filet. So that should keep him full or he's gonna probably want some more. The eels are very hungry. So we're definitely wanna feed these guys as well. So I did get these big shrimp because they were on sale. Look at the size of that shrimp. That's a big shrimp. And any, anytime you get food on sale, guys, you gotta take advantage. This is a nice, juicy shrimp for my fish. Eels are already swimming out of the pond. They're ready to go. And this guy's still hungry. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna give him another half of this tilapia filet. Give him this right here. Okay, if he wants this, if he wants this, he should be fine if he wants this. Yep, it looks like he does. Okay, you just splashed the camera, but he's got that big piece, which will take him a long time to finish, so he should be good. The eel's actually chasing him for it. That eel's really going hard at him. 
Oh, the eel got it actually. Good for him. Look at that. Eel's got a big piece. That's actually a lot. So maybe that, uh, maybe that zebra eel will come out and get that as well. But I know the zebra eel is picky and he loves shrimp. Look at this guy. This guy's almost jumping out of the water for this. Get it, buddy. Get it. Yeah. I'm gonna throw a couple more big pieces in there for the uh, for the eels because the emperor snapper just stole it from them. And the oh, there goes the zebra. There goes the zebra, he just ate one. He's a, he just ate one, let's go. It's always nice seeing the zebra eat because he is very picky and we gotta fatten him up. So throw the rest of the shrimp in here. Oh my God, look at this guy. Throw all the shrimp in there and we will let them feast. Oh, this eel wants more, huh? Mr. Eel, I got something for you. Get it, oh my God, bro. Can't be missing that. That's a prime piece. It's right next to you. See, that's what happens when there's a lot of smells in the water. Oh, he just found that one. They can't really pinpoint exactly where it is, but it's fine. As long as they run into it at some point, they will get it. Now we're gonna feed the shark tank just in case. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the shell off of these guys. And perfect, we have a nice, beautiful, big shrimp right here, which the sharks are already out and about. Now these guys are super, super cool sharks. This guy's a little bit more picky, this one right here but uh, they are very good eaters in general. So we're just gonna throw this shrimp on the bottom and let them find it themselves. The epaulette already got one, so he's good. Oh, the pork fish stole that big one. So I'm just gonna try to drop it down on top of these guys. I just gotta watch for that little eel, because he will get me. He will get me very good. So we just got him a piece. And that shark looks, seems like he's hungry, so that's a good sign. When they're swimming around like that, that's a very good sign that they are hungry. But as you can see, he is swimming around, which is a good sign. That eel is going off, dude. He loves to eat. <laughs> what the heck is he doing? He's doing breakdance moves. There we go. All the fish have been fed in the two bigger ponds. Now we get to get our big fish in one of these big ponds. Let's see what I got. All right, guys, it is time to unbox our fish. Now that we know all the fish are fed, I'm leaning towards the Emperor Snapper Pond. We're just gonna see how this goes. So let's unbox our fish. I have no cameraman today, so it's just me. I saw this guy at the store. And by the way, the store did have some very cool fish. When I went in there and looked, they had some cool tanks, they had a bunch of clownfish, a very cool looking hogfish swimming around the tanks. They had tons of different stuff there, very tropical, colorful stuff. So I may wanna go back and get some of those cool, colorful fish. I did see this one weird tang that I've never seen before. I'm not sure exactly what kind of tang it was, but it was definitely had a very cool pattern, color pattern. So all in all, this, this store was awesome and they sold me an awesome fish. So let's finally check this guy out. You guys are gonna love him, dude. He's gonna be so cool and he is big. I don't know if you guys can see how big he is, but it is a fish that I have mentioned before that I think we should probably put in here to acclimate, which is I think what we're gonna do. So let's do it. Now, because I'm a one man show today, this is gonna be kind of hard to do and I don't have my tripod. So I'm gonna just dump him right into the cooler and then we can get some awesome shots at him. You can see exactly what it is, but this bag is super heavy. <gasps> so heavy, oh my God, there's so much water in this. Lots of water in here. Look at this guy, he's huge, he's huge. Okay, we're gonna carefully get him into this container for acclimation and he is gonna be Awesome. We definitely are gonna need to acclimate him. He looks like he was just fed because there is some shrimp floating in the water. So let's pour him directly into our bin here and then I'm gonna show you guys what he looks like. Oh my goodness. This guy is so cool. So this guy right here is our brand new guinea fowl puffer, guys. You guys absolutely smashed the light goal in my last video and you really wanted me to get him. And I thought it was a great fish for the pond. So we went ahead and we got this guy. Now he is super big and I know puffers are kinda on the iffy side in general. They sometimes can be kinda hard to add to a new tank. So I'm gonna try to be super careful with this guy, acclimate him for a long time, but look at how gorgeous this fish is. He's so big, I haven't seen this one, I haven't seen a fish this big in a long, long time. I haven't seen a puffer this big in a long time, but he is one really, really cool fish. Now I have to be very careful when it comes to acclimating him. I'm gonna drip acclimate him for a while. I am super excited to get him and we're gonna need some awesome names down in the comments. When I saw him in the store, here's a clip of him right before we took him out. He looks amazing swimming around the pond. He was eating like a champ and he loves to chill on the surface of the water kind of towards the top. So it's gonna be perfect for this pond. He's gonna be amazing in here. And the guy said he eats like an absolute champ. So I am super excited to get this guy in. I'm gonna go ahead and acclimate him and then we're gonna finally add him to the saltwater pond. All right, we got our cameraman now and uh, he is ready to go in the pond. So this is perfect timing. Perfect timing to get him ready to go in the pond. He's been acclimating for a while now. And I think it's time we get this feisty little bugger in the pond. And apparently he's a great eater because look at all this freaking food floating around in the pond. So it's perfect. 
Let's get him in. I'm just gonna do a big scoop. I know he's super feisty at the store. It took him a while to get him out, so. But he is an absolute beast. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Here he goes. Get in there, buddy. Get in there, perfect release, let's go. Let's go, baby. He is in the pond with the boys. The first time the Emperor Snapper has gotten a new fish in the pond in a long time. So let's see how he's gonna react. See how he's sizing them up right now. He's sizing them up. And if it comes to the part, if it comes to a point where he can't be in here because the Emperor Snapper is being too much of an asshole, we're gonna move him into the shark pond. But for right now, I think this is where he needs to be. Now, as you can see, he is in the Snapper pond. But after about five minutes, Five minutes and off camera, very quickly, I took him out of that pond and put him into the shark pond because the Emperor Snapper was not having it. He literally is the meanest fish in the world. Now it is confirmed that even a fish this size cannot go with the Emperor Snapper. It is just, he's just too territorial. He's too much of a bully to put him in there. So I moved him over to the shark pond and he should be doing perfectly fine in here with all the other fish and all the other sharks. It's a great pond and he's gonna absolutely love it and it's better because he won't get bullied by anything in here. He will be the, the top dog kind of fish anyways. And he looks really, really good against that light colored sand and just looks fantastic. I did take some underwater GoPro footage of him. He, you can tell he's super healthy fish. He's swimming around so hopefully nothing goes wrong. You know, it didn't stress him out too much, the whole transfer thing, and he should be totally fine in this pond. We're gonna cross our fingers and hope that he is gonna be totally okay in a couple days and be just just like normal in all the, all the other ponds, just like all the other fish. So hopefully we can get him eating quickly, but as you can see, he looks amazing in here, and we're definitely gonna need to drop a name down below in the comments. So everyone go comment down below what his name should be, because that is one awesome, awesome fish. Thank you guys so much for watching. We got our awesome new puffer fish in the pond, the one that you guys wanted me to get so much. Now stay tuned for the epic saltwater pond build on the Barbers Buzzin' channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.